All right, guys, now we're going to talk about tracing, which is a really cool way to see what the agents are actually doing behind the scenes. So when you do a single agent run like this, where you just do runner dot run, provide an agent and provide a prompt to invoke a response, this is actually being traced behind the scenes, even though you didn't explicitly tell it to do that. So if you head to platform.openai.com and log in with your OpenAI account and then go to traces, you can actually view every single time you've, you've ran an agent and it gives you a very detailed flow of actually what's happening. That's That's what a trace is. So, for example, if we go back to the code just real quick, if we go ahead and run this, let's just run and get an output here. It says, hello, I'm just a program, but I'm here and ready to help you, blah, blah, blah. So if I go now to here and let me reload, here it is. So we see workflow, agent workflow. The flow name is basic agent, which is the name of the agent that we just ran. So basic agent. And so if we click into this, so this is a full overview of how long it took. So roughly 1,100 milliseconds, which is just over one second when it was created, the output type. But if you want more detail, click this here. This is it behind the scenes actually working with the OpenAI responses uh, API to invoke the LLM and get a response. So we can see when it was created, um, the actual model that was used, so GPT-40 Mini 2024, uh, it used 75 tokens total with 47 input tokens and 28 output tokens. The response type was text. But this part's really cool. This is actually the details of the invocation. So the system instructions, which are the instructions of our agent, says you are helpful assistant, respond in all caps. And then our input, hello, how are you? And then our output that was generated by the assistant, hello, I'm just a program, but I'm here to and ready to help. So 28 tokens. So it gives you a lot of detail about what actually happened when you invoke the agent. And this is obviously gonna be very useful so that you can debug and just know what's going on in your application. But this is gonna be way more useful when you're doing multiple things. So let me show you. Okay, so if we go back to this example here where we have two agents, the joke agent and the language agent. So we take the output from the joke agent after invoking it and feed it as the input into the language agent. And then we get a final output from the language agent, right? In this case, we're running two different agents. So technically this is gonna be two different traces. Obviously that's not very ideal. This is part of the same program. They're working together. So to combine all of the actions of our agents into one trace, we can do with trace and do it as a function do a colon and put that inside and just make sure to fix the indentation. So inside of here, you just simply give your, uh, your trace a workflow name. So we could say something like joke translation workflow. And that's it, that's all you have to do. So anything that you wrap with the trace a function here um, will be part of the same trace. Okay, so no matter how many agents you invoke and everything like that, it'll be part of the same thing. So let's go ahead and run it and see what it looks like. Okay, so if we come back here, let's reload the page. And here we go, our joke translation workflow, we can see that it's a little more detailed, it has a different color, and we have it showing that we first invoked the joke agent and then it went to the language agent. So let's click it. So it tells you how long each agent took, which is really cool. So the joke agent, the initial instructions were, you are a joke teller, blah, blah, blah. The input was cheese, and then we got a joke based on cheese. And then we see the language agent, we can see the exact input to that. So you are a language expert, you are given a joke and you need to rewrite it in a different language. User, translate this joke to Spanish. Why did the cheese go to the party alone? Because it felt blue, which is the output of the first one, of course, right? So then it's gonna translate and give you an output. Yet another really cool example so that you can see exactly what's going on in your applications. It's even more useful though when you have even more going on. So let's just say that we do this example from last time where we invoke tools. We also do handing off. So one agent's autonomously handing off to another agent, which can then invoke a tool. There's a lot going on, right? And we already have a way of programmatically telling what's going on a little bit just by doing these handoff callbacks here, but tracing gives you a lot more detail as you can see. So let's check it out. So what I've done is I'm running this customer service agent and I'm wrapping it with the trace. You don't technically have to because we're only invoking one agent, but the benefit of explicitly wrapping it with the trace is obviously it's more clear, but also you can give it a custom name. I changed the prompt to something a little more complex so that it actually does hand off to the manager and also calls the tools so that we can see in more detail uh, how it's able to trace things. So now let's go check it out. All right, here it is. So we can see our customer service hotline has one handoff, one tool invocation. Let's click it. So we can see first we have our customer service agents. This is the initial prompt that we passed in. And you can see that based on that initial prompt from the user, it decided to do a function call, which is transferred to the manager. Like I told you before, agents, when you do a handoff to an agent, it's actually calling a tool behind the scenes. That's just how it works. So that's why it's a function call. And it's passing the information with an issue and why, because we told it explicitly to pass it in, in this format using the input type for the handoff. You can also see explicitly that there was a handoff. It logs that here, but then we can go to our manager and we can see that our manager was invoked. You can see that our manager has access to a function, the create ticket function. So it tells you that, which is really cool. It has GPT-40 system instructions, it actually gets the full conversation history 
uh, because you know these agents are working together. So when one agent transfers to another agent, it's useful to know what's actually happening. So it gives you the original prompt from the first agent along with the function call. So it essentially knows I was just transferred to based on this issue, right? So based on that, it decided to do a function call, which is create a ticket because it knows there's an issue with the website. So it should create a ticket to get our technical team to fix that. So it's smart enough to use the tool that it's able to use. So here's the actual create ticket log here. So function call, create ticket. And then here's the output that was given back to the large language model. So once, so after a tool call happens, the large language model then decides again what to do. So it can either call a tool again or just respond. So now, so now if you go to the last one here, we can see another call with our original system instructions, right? But then with our original user prompt, the function call, and then the new function call to create a ticket. So it basically has a full message history of what's going on. And then it's using all that information to give you a final response. I've created a support ticket to address this issue, ticket ID 12345, which is correct. And then our technical team will investigate it. So, so I really hope this all makes sense. This is tracing. This is just a way to see what the agents are actually doing behind the scenes. There are a couple of other things that you can pass into your trace function in the code, like a group ID and stuff like that. Just some more advanced features, but this is generally how tracing works. It's a very, very useful feature. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this interesting as well.